Good morning guys. So I'm gonna be making another video today. I know it's been a little while. Uh, but today I'm gonna make something which is uh, how do I say it? Something different. Um sorry to ask a couple of times. So I actually saw it a couple of days ago on one of the our one of our message boards. Um basically we're gonna cover the crackle tune. Um personally I believe it's useless, it doesn't have any really doesn't have any purpose really on a car except for just shits and giggles um so we're just going to do a quick video on how you get to do it if a speedway no mega school or pretty much any issue All right so stay tuned okay so we have the laptop open this is my fuel table um to do this well first we're gonna start off with starting up the car we're gonna hear how the car sounds with um the cell fuel cut on deceleration fuel cut on and how a car would normally sound and then we're going to go through the process of doing what we need to do to get the the crackles and the bangs going okay so that was the car with diesel fuel cut on so sounds like a pretty much a normal car it was a bit cold so yeah so to do this first thing we're going to do we're gonna need to turn off deceleration fuel cut and we go down here deceleration fuel cut enabled we're going to switch that off right and we're going to cycle off so I just go work offline Disconnect the USB with speed window because the USB still powers the ECU. Right, and then we're back online. So we're going to pick up. The acceleration fuel cut is off. So we're going to start the car and hear the difference without the fuel cut. We should not get crackles and bangs, but you never too sure. Okay, deceleration fuel cut off. So nothing. Right? So we're going to try retarding the spark table. So basically let me show you when you rev up you're gonna go up to here and then this cell is gonna be somewhere in the water here. so we're only going to be adjusting this bottom section on the spark on the fuel map right so we have you can see in deceleration I have about 42 degrees so what I'm gonna do first and foremost we're gonna play with the spark and if we don't get the desired outcome we're gonna play with the fuel so we'll pick up after I adjust the spark table okay so I have as you can see everything above my idle Usually, in the usual deceleration spots, I have it set to negative 15. So let's try this one more time. So we're just going to rev up. We're just going to allow the revs to fall normally without touching the throttle, and it should be pretty normal. So nothing. So if the crackles and bang, you would need to modulate the throttle. So give it a little throttle. Can look at my throttle gauge right here on the deceleration and we should have some crackles and bangs right let's try this again yeah my laptop battery is about to run out but you guys get the the picture right So you guys see pretty much the well it's pretty quick to do a crackles and bang quote unquote tune. Um takes very little throttles to get it to crackle and bang, like two percent, three percent, just barely need to crack the throttle open. Um saw me cracking it open a bit too much and then ending up going out of the spot where I had the ignition retarded and yeah, but for the most part pretty easy so is it necessary nah 
but it's just something I guess you can do if you out with your friends and just cooking to have fun. Um, but just use it sensibly. Right, till next time guys. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.